Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing Crusader Kings 2 with the newest DLC Monks and Mystics. We're playing as Count Leopold von Nuremberg, uh, Leopold von Drachenstein. He is um, the child of Satan, the high priest of Lucifer's own and he has the ambition to become emperor one day. But first we have to become um, ruler of Bavaria. Um, he, is, he wants to appoint us as commander. I don't think so. I'm going to decline here. Uh, we are the regent of Bavaria as well, which is kind of interesting. We could go for this. Could actually force him to go for that. Um, how many troops does he have? Only 400. I tell you what, we're actually going to go to war against this guy. Must have a valid causes belly to declare war. Don't I have the claim on this place? We claim on the county of Niederbayern, yeah. I um, does that not um, allow me to attack him? Apparently not. Apparently not. That's pretty shitty. He has a saint's finger bone. I I do have that claim though. Why can't I press that claim? I guess I, I could plot to kill him. Do it. Let's see how many backers we get. Banhard. Um, yes, join me. I'm gonna kill him. I do wanna see my, my weak claim realized. I guess we've gotta kill everyone until he has a female heir or something, a weak claim. Okay, he's backing my scheme now. And someone has increased, uh, the, the Duke of Bavaria has increased the, the power of the council. My co-conspirator has assembled a party of mercenaries who will ambush Count Otto disguised as highwaymen. Let's hope that he does not survive the encounter. Just the other day, skulking as I often do, I caught King Otto of Bohemia and my courtier Matilda in flagrante. Lost in passion, they did not notice me, but I'm still in shock. I smell profit. I'm gonna blackmail them. To the lecherous boar Leopold. Here, take my money. If you do not keep quiet, I will do things to you that you cannot even begin to imagine. Yeah, yeah. Young Brunissender has finished her education in stewardship. It is evident that she has excelled in her studies. This pleases me. Let's hope that this guy dies. So I basically have to... I have to kill him. Failure. He's gotten away from the ambush, identifying them as men in my employ. He has three into, uh, seen through the disguises. I guess I gotta get, gotta get more plot power. Although, I, I mean, we still have 100-200%. Received word from my co-conspirator that the bowmen are in place and waiting for the right moment to strike. We're committed then. Um, this is not gonna give people the right opinion of me. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Nuremberg is doing very well. People are happy and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. So Nuremberg finally prospers. That's pretty good. 10% um, more tax. 20% more levy reinforcement rate. That's good. And we have a massive recruitment drive. Count Otto is, bad, uh, is dead. Unfortunately, the scapegoat we had arranged to take the blame spilled my name. So that's not good. I do have now the trait murderer, known murderer. I mean, I guess all is fair. Uh, we're gonna kill that guy now. Do it. Oh, can I? Can I? Yeah, now I can. Now I can go uh, to war for the claim on Niederbayern against the county of Niederbayern. Right. So we'll go for it. War is upon us. And God damn it, where am I? Court of Oberbayern to scheme. That's not good. Um Oh I'm the regent, so I can't even leave this. Well I, I know what I gotta do. I gotta invite some disciples of Satan and maybe Yeah, come promoting a commander is actually very expensive. I think I'll do it nonetheless. Humbert of Firth has arrived on the court. Yes, I shall make him a commander. So we're going to have at least one capable person commanding this whole thing. 
And we're going to have only one unit. And I'm going to send these guys over to Niederbayern. Trying to take out those troops, hopefully. Finally, my devout servant has arrived. Abjura Emich is the most accomplished witch and well versed in the hallowed secrets of black magic. With him at my side, I shall continue to carry out the work of the great Satan. Welcome to my court. Okay, I got a loyal servant now. I can appoint him my court physician, which is good. I'm going to try to press that claim. I'm going to kill these people. Hopefully. Yes, that's looking fine. If I have two counties, I will have enough for power base to actually contest the rule of the of the current duke without too many problems. A well-equipped army of cultists, followers of the devil, has arrived in Oberbayern led by three powerful witches. They stand ready to serve me and our dread master in this important war. Hail the devil! <laughs> that's hilarious. That's absolutely hilarious. I'm going to send these guys after them. That's going to be fun. Fifteen hundred men out of the blue. I mean, I guess it must have its its benefits to be the leader of um, the Satan's cultists. I guess someone who is the leader of a monk order or something would also get benefits from it. Okay, so we're attacking these guys. We're slaughtering them. We're absolutely slaughtering them. Kill them all. Okay, they're moving into Italy now. I guess we're going to follow them. I wonder where they're going. I do want to destroy their army. Um, biggest problem is that my siege will no longer progress if I do not have enough troops, but... I guess we just gotta hunt them down, even though it makes no sense that they would actually run that far. Just 200 men running all the way to Italy. I found proof that there's a plot brewing in the realm. Hopefully I can uncover it in time. I caught a man trying to assassinate me. It turns out that he was sent by Mayor Ferdinand of Dürnberg to make sure I wouldn't find out about his plot to kill Matthias. I'm gonna report this to my liege. And tell you what, I'm also going to spy on you. Spy on Arnold. I'm going to see what we can find out. I and my trusted snoops and sneaks will keep a very close eye on the activities of Count Arnold of Kempton. A close eye indeed. I wonder what secrets he's hiding. Okay, so we won this. Um, uh, his troops are running back now. Moving into Mantua, we have a Bavarian civil war to increase council power on Duke Hartwig of Bavaria. That's cool, because that means that I should actually be able to uh, go and force him to make me the Duke. <laughs> Why can't I do that? At peace. Okay, crap. Come on, people. The Leviathan whispered to me and reminded me that there were those who had that did not deserve it, and then there were those like me who deserved so much more. All right, I take it. I'm gonna take these guys. We have Songs of Anguish. We are gonna take down Mayor David of Gasperdale. I'm gonna invite him for some fun. My servants threw a sack over him and beat the two-faced glutton into submission. And yeah, we're gonna cook him in our brazen bull. Why is this box, what is this box doing on my desk? Let's look inside. It's a bright white skull, gleaming like a jewel. Hmm, and there's a note. I really enjoyed the prank you tried to pull on me the other night. Good thing I wasn't actually in that bull. But have you seen your wife, Sintrith, lately? Your old friend, Mayor David. The bastard! David! I have gained a trait paranoid and I'm now a lunatic. That's not good. Okay, one moment you're shivering, the next you're sweating and overall you feel awful. I have gained a fever. I've won this battle over there. Uh, I've got to send my troops over here now. Message to invite to plot has been received from Kuno for Nordheim. We would like you to back our plot to kill Conrad. Um, no, thank you. I gotta use the dark powers on myself. Go for some dark healing. Do it. Though I may suffer for now, no earthly ailment is beyond the power of Satan. I'm preparing a great trial to cleanse my body and become like new. Satan may take and Satan may give. Alright. 
As the ritual is being finished, I can feel my strength returning to me, purging the weakness that has been holding my body in a vice. All will be as Satan desires. So we lose fever, but we are exhausted from demonic healing. I guess that's fair enough. The throne shan't be yours, so long as Duke Hartwick draws breath. If an accident was to befall the world, they happen so easily after all. As his regent, perhaps you should appoint some simple chores to the lad. The castle roof has long needed to be scrubbed clean of bird droppings. Yeah, it builds character, why not? My position as regent to Hartwick means that I have access to the treasury. I think I deserve a raise. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take the money. Ah, sweet, filthy lucre. <laughs> Thank Thanks, thanks. Oh, we want to go into Bryce Gull. So the child has a good sense of balance. No matter, perhaps a trip to the countryside would do him some good. Come on, you're going on a little trip. Unbelievable, the runt made it back alive. Well, this time I have arranged for a special carriage to take Duke Hartwick to meet with a foreign dignitary. The driver has been instructed to lose control of the carriage at a certain point on the journey, sending the whole thing careening down a ravine. You leave it down, Hartwick. <laughs> I'm such a bastard. I'm such a bastard. You take a moment up on the castle ramparts to contemplate your bad luck in dealing with Duke Hartwick, only to see the carefree little scamp strut past below. Next to you is an especially corpulent guard leaning half asleep against his halberd. A gentle push could send him falling down on Hartwick. Um. Yes. Count Arnold is no longer present in the realm, so there is no further point to my spying. Haha! <laughs> Young Augustine just walked up to me today, striking up a uh, conversation. We ended up having a long talk about a great many things. How nice! Duke Hartwick died under suspicious circumstances. I spoke at length with Augustine about a great many things. Okay, I have a new friend. Augustine. Who are you? Parents. Oh, he's on my court. Okay, what a nice child. Come on, I do want to take down Niederbahn. Seems to me Bishop Giselbert isn't as pious as he claims to be. Instead of improving relations with the Catholic Church, Bishop Giselbert managed to take to make an utter fool out of himself and indirectly me. You will pay for this fiasco with your own means. Yeah, I'm getting some money now. That's kind of nice. It suddenly dawns on you. When Duke Otto III comes of age, your title as regent of the realm is forfeit. Perhaps something could be done to extend your enlightened stewardship of the throne. For the good of the realm, of course. Um, the web is not fit to rule. Not now, not ever. Through skillful conniving, you have managed to see Duke Otto III declared insane. Until his mental state improves, the child will remain locked up in one of the castle towers while your illustrious regency continues. Ha! That day will never come. <laughs> Hilarious. I mean, I'm absolutely abusing my position, but I'm the child of Satan. If I don't, who will? Benedicta von Nordheim. Am I no longer the regent? Yes, I am. Why... Um... Oh, Duchess Benedicta of Bavaria. What is happening now? I thought I'm, I'm still the regent. Or did he die? What does she want? She wants me to be a commander. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So we're going to siege this thing down again. I'm just going to go to high speed now. Feeling of being watched and followed seems to have disappeared overnight. I'm no longer paranoid. That's at least something. It's going to take a while to siege this thing down. I watched from the shadows as my spy master Conrad surreptitiously marked a spot on the wall with a piece of chalk. This might just be his normal skullduggery, but my intuition says not. Time to spy on the spy. Let's see what we can find out. Eavesdropping from a secret passage in the walls, I overheard my faithless spy master talking to another conspirator. They are plotting to kill Eric von Hohenstaufen. Um, hold off, I will deal with this later. That's fine. If he doesn't plot me, it's uh, um, target me, it's actually okay. So we're gonna try to take Niederbayern. We have a Bavarian revolt. What are they trying to do? Increase council power. That's not great. Why are they not fighting? They have 2,400 men over there. I wonder why they're doing nothing. It was hard to sleep while Mammon softly whispered in my ear. 
He was telling me about all the things that should be mine, but others had. The more he whispered, the more it made sense. They shall be mine. I'm greedy now. Yes! <laughs> okay, they are pulling more troops together over there. Uh, let's hope that Bavaria will actually be able to push down that revolt. Okay, we made it. We have a victory over here. Now we just got to siege down the Bishopric of Regensburg and we will have won the war. As I sat and looked at the fish course, the fish spoke to me and reminded me that my neighbor's titles were rich and should be mine. Okay, a messenger from Lord the Leviathan. We gain intrigue advice, plus two intrigue. That's great. Who's leading this? Mayor Werner. Who's fighting in that? Heinrich of Bavarian Revolt. Count Leopold in of Nuremberg. Your court chaplain, Bishop Giselbert of Oerwangen, has been discovered charging money for various religious favors, putting the gold in his own pockets. Um, intolerable. I'm gonna kick him out. <laughs> oh yeah, my wife is gone. Right. Could actually marry the the princess of Denmark. I think I might. Um, we're gonna get betrothed. Yes. So now we're gonna have powerful allies. Yes, they have accepted the betrothal. Come on, I do want to win this war before the episode ends. That would be pretty nice. Come on, do it. We still have primogenitor in um, Bavaria. Okay, so now we're going to take this thing, we're going to enforce our demands, and we have usurped the title. So now we have two um, of these places, and we still have our 1500 um, troops that we that we got, our, our witch troops. Uh, mainly heavy infantry actually, very good troops, I can't complain about that. We have no troops in there, we have a bunch over here. I wonder if I would be able to push for this. I wonder if I could just force them to give their claim to me. I do have 200% of their strength. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Demand installation of claimant. Could I get anyone on my side? Plot to kill, tainted touch, recruit for Satan. I could buy favor with this guy. Give a gift of gold. Gold. Um, he is defending against Heinrich of Bavarian Revolt. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna buy favor from him. Oh no, he won't. Opinion of me. Yeah, okay, that's not good enough. Can I buy favor with you? No. Maybe you. Oh, he's attacking Duchess Benedicta of Bavarian. Bavarian civil war to increase council power. Um... I mean, I guess I'm kind of in the situation where I could actually go for this. Um, they have a revolt on their hands, so we might be able to push that through. And I don't care about Balderich of Wittelsbach anymore. Go away. You're no longer important. Yeah, we're going to demand the installation of our claimant. Why not? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. A shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded. No matter how many corrupted souls you have enticed to help carry out your plan, I will not give in without a fight. I'd rather die defending what is rightfully mine. Okay. I am revolting now. Um, gotta, gotta help these revolters then. Um, let's bring all my troops. I do have some troops that I can bring to the table over here as well. Although I'd rather just keep them here. Um, have I... Yeah, I do have a good leader. And I'm gonna make you a leader. I need one more leader. I have 109 gold. Which is fine, I guess. This did not work. I have only 1600 men. I might be able to take them on um, over there. I could just siege down um, specific places. But I think we're gonna fight this war in the next episode. Oh, and we have the birth of the assassins. Word is spread that a Shia missionary, Hazani Saba, has founded a religious order known as the Hashashin, somewhere in western Persia. Using trickery and guile, this mysterious cult of trained killers has seized control of the mountain fortress of Alamut and converted it into their headquarters. Already a string of violent murders can be traced back to Hassan's devoted and fearless disciples. 
These hashish smokers are harmless. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna lead this war in the next episode for now. I'm gonna thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do hope that you join me next time. Thanks. Bye bye.